Janet Medina. Now your line, you called Janet Medina NYC. So now how does it feel to be here? Amazing. I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see my new collection. I know I'm looking at it right um, now. Right. Hello. Like, but tell all our listeners, cause we were in the, um, we got very close, very close and personal her yeah. and Brie. So I got stitched in, which is amazing, but I loved hearing the stories of the beads and, and you have an incredible story of what brought you to be, being a designer. I know we only get a little bit of time, but if you could kind of tell us about that journey, what made you become a designer and then behind your collection? So I've always loved fashion since I was a little girl. Um, and then just growing up, I got into spirituality. I started wearing um, the little beaded bracelets, like the manifestation mm -hmm. and, you know, this and that. And then um, as I was sketching, I was like, wait a minute. I can add healing stones to my clothing. Mm -hmm. So I went out to the like gem shows and I started purchasing like, you know, all the beads and like wholesale. And then I was like, okay, I can put that all over my design. So that's literally what you guys are seeing here. Um, so yeah, Love. I'm like obsessed with the energy. I'm yeah. So spiritual. I, that's like my. And what made you feel like it was so important to bring that into your work and your pieces that people would wear? Um, for me, I just, feel like being aware of just what like not just the subconscious but like things that we don't see mm -hmm. and spirituality just has a lot to do with that and just somebody that loves stones that mm -hmm. just means that you're more aware of like things that are unseen right? yeah like if you believe in a little rock it's right it's not yeah bizarre, but we're That's really true. no like totally that, right yeah so, for me, that's a big deal. And I'm just obsessed with that. And I, I always thought of like, whoever really loves that just gets me. Yeah. And whoever gets me will absolutely love the concept. Yeah. You want to share the good energy. Exactly. You, you want to spread the good juju. So you're on no sleep. Because oh as God, a designer, when you're thing. coming right <laughs> to, to oh like a fashion God. show. So tomorrow, when this is all done, what's the first thing you're going to do? Sleep. Yeah. Oh, Put her exactly. fingers in ice. It's like Honestly, rain. <laughs> oh my gosh. For you guys to see, I did a wedding dress. Oh, well, Janet, tell what's the big dream? Like, you know, as a designer, like wh where do you want to take it? Where do you want to go? Um, for me, it's just have like spiritual awareness, to be honest. Mm. So whoever purchases my garments, it's just super leaned into spirituality and I think that's just my biggest thing. Yeah. Like just being, you know, raising awareness. I have a ton of other like things that I want to do. Well, congratulations. Yeah, congrats. And before you head out, cause we know you're super busy and you have to prep for the show. Is there any inspiration or motto or quote you want to leave with our listeners? Like anything that you live by? I live by what matters is how well you walk through the fire. Oh, I love that. Because right now I haven't slept. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm walking through it right now as we speak. Right now, literally, like, just, just relax, you guys. No. I'm just, you know, speaking to myself. Yeah. That's my I love that. And well, you, you got I was going to say, you do got this. Okay. Well, we're yeah, excited. So stunning. Ah, it's beautiful. I'm so excited that you're wearing it. Yeah. So good luck tonight. We yes. Look forward to seeing your whole you. collection. Yeah. I'm excited. Too. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh.